Today we are going to be making some of my favorite baits for buzz baits. It's the berry bug from Dual Molds. I pour these up myself and in today's video I'm going to pour some of these up because it's buzz bait season where I live. So stay tuned. You're going to see me make some of these berry bugs with my Dual Molds. For anybody new to my channel, my name is Matt Loon and I make tackle making videos, on the water fishing videos, how to videos, and I document all my tournament fishing as well here on the channel. So if that stuff sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And in today's video, I'm going to be using Plastisol, colorant, all kinds of different stuff, and everything's going to be down in the description as a product list along with my affiliate link to Do It Molds. If you guys are going to go to the website and buy anything, please use that affiliate link so that way they know that I sent you. This Do It Molds Berry Bug Mold is a CNC mold, so it's going to make really nice looking baits. A few of the features of why I think this is a great buzz bait trailer is because it's going to have a flatter top and bottom on it, so it's going to stay high in that water column, which is what you want in the buzz bait. And then also these tails are going to work kind of like a double tail grub does, and it's going to give a lot of different action out there. And I like these little fins that come off the side because I think it gives it a little bit of realism to that bait that a lot of these traditional buzz bait trailers don't have. The berry bug that I'm using today is the three and a half inch version. I think that three and a half inch version is perfect for a buzz bait. They make this in a four and a half version as well if you need something much bigger, but I think that three and a half inch version is perfect. In this video, we're gonna be making two different color buzzbait trailers. I keep it simple with my buzzbait trailers. We're gonna have a white color and a black color. I don't add any flake, any colorant. I might add a little bit of pearl powder to the white just to give it a little bit of that pearliness to it when it's underneath the water, but I keep it very, very basic with my buzzbait trailers. In today's video, we're gonna be using the Softbaits X2 colorant in the black and then in the white. And again, guys, make sure to check the description of today's video for the entire product list that I put down there to help you guys out, along with my Dual Molds affiliate link, which will help give me credit if you go over there and buy anything. So the Plastisol looks to be ready to get that colorant put in there. We got nice and smooth. One thing I do recommend when you guys are making these Buzzbait trailers is to use a little bit thicker Plastisol, a little bit harder Plastisol, it's just gonna help make these a little bit more durable and when you're skipping these baits and working them through cover and everything like that, it's always nice to have a nice durable Plastisol in there. It just helps everything last a little bit longer. Gonna need to add some more of that white, I think, but it's starting to come through a little bit. The one thing I prefer is to go a little bit lighter on the white. I'd rather have it a little bit more translucent than a little bit more white. So that's why I'm going very, very slowly with my colorant. And when you're using that Dual Molds X2 colorant, you don't need to use a ton. It's very, very thick and a little goes a long way. So you want to be very careful about how much you use, especially when you're mixing the white with other colors. Now we're going to transition over to the black. And the black's a little bit more forgiving when you're using it by itself because it's just going to become black. You don't have to worry too, too much about how much you're using because the blacker that you get it, it just stays black. So with white, I just feel like it's a little bit different because white can kind of begin to yellow a little bit. So I prefer to keep it a little bit thinner and a little bit more translucent. But black, on the other hand, I don't think it matters quite as much. I need to warm these back up a little bit to kind of get them to loosen up so I can mix this coloring in a little bit better. So we're gonna pop these back in the microwave now. All right, so off camera, I did add a little bit more black colorant to the black cup. It was very, very minor. And now we're gonna add a little bit of pearl powder. And when I mean a little bit, I, I mean a little bit. We don't need a lot. Pearl powder can definitely ruin the color that I'm going for. If you put too much, it will start to yellow it. So hopefully that right there wasn't too much. It just gives these baits just a little bit of sheen down there in the water. It doesn't do much, but I think it does help a little bit. You may not even see it come through on camera, but that pearl does add a little bit of look to it. And I think that that looks a lot better. You can see that pearl kind of poking through on that Plastisol. I definitely just like having that pearl in there. And I think these are ready to start getting poured up. That white looks good. And let's double check our black real quick. Get that black in view nicely. 
And the black's looking good too. It's going to be like a little bit of a translucent. So I have a feeling in those in those tails, it's going to be a little bit more translucent. I think in the body, it'll be a little bit darker. And worst case scenario, we need to add a little bit more in there. We can always throw the, the color that we don't like back in there and then uh, add some more black in there. So I'd like to start a little thinner and then add as we go. Okay, so we are going to start with the white. And we have a six ounce dual, dual molds injector. I need to get another one of these six ounce injectors so I can use it as a dual injector. But this, I only have one of them right now. And then we are gonna go ahead and start pouring up these baits. We might have a couple issues with the baits when they come out in this first run just because the molds are cold. I didn't heat them up or anything like that. I'm hoping that the plastisol is warm enough to overcome that. And then we're gonna go to number two. Hold that pressure on it. And like I said, worst case scenario, if you have some imperfections or some baits that you don't like, when you're using just one single color, it's nothing to just trim them back up when they cool down, throw it back in that plastisol, and then just go again. You can remelt them down super easily. Okay, I think our berry bugs cooled down enough. So we're gonna take our clamps off. Now we're gonna open up each of these molds individually. Start with the middle one. And that one turned out really, really nicely. Go to the next one. That one fell out. That one turned out really, really good as well. I like the way that color turned out. I'll look at one more. Oh, and that one turned out really, really good as well. So far, that cold mold did not have any issues. All right, so it looks like our black is ready to go. Now that I'm looking at it again, we might need to add some more black color in there, but we're gonna just go for it and see what happens. We got our six ounce injector again. Draw up that plastisol. Move this to the side. Bring that injector back over. Even pressure down. Hold the pressure. Top off the sprue. Go to the next one. Same process. Even pressure down. Hold the pressure at the bottom. Top off the sprue. One more time, even pressure down, hold the pressure, top off that sprue. Now we're gonna top off the other ones again. You just wanna top off that sprue so that way if any of the plastic all gets drawn down as everything's curing, you have enough to make up that, that gap so that way you don't have any air bubbles or any empty cavities in your baits all said and done. Okay, so the black berry bugs are ready to go. Open up the first mold. And actually that black turned out really good. I like the little bit of transparency down the bottom and then the darkness up in the top. I really think that that berry bug turned out pretty darn good. Set it aside, go to the next one. Same thing, that one turned out really good. I'm gonna go to the last one. And once again, this mold pours really, really well. It, it pours like a breeze, you get really good baits. This one had a little bit of denting down in the bottom, so we could redo that one if we want, but I think it'll be fine for what I'm trying to do. So I told you guys in the beginning of today's video that I was gonna show you another bait that you can buy pretty much anywhere to put on a buzz bait trailer, and that bait is the Six Sense Stroker Craw. As you can see, it's got these little tails on it, double tail grub style bait, nice and flat on the body, and it pairs up perfectly with the buzz bait get a ton of action out of these tails down here, and it's just a bait that flat out gets them on a buzz bait. This bait does have some salt in it, but it's not enough to impact that top water action that you're getting on a buzz bait. You can pretty much throw most trailers on a buzz bait for soft plastics. The salt's really not gonna affect it because you're keeping that rod tip high, you're keeping that bait up in the top of the water. You know if you're doing it right, but sometimes if that salt's too heavy and it's bringing that bait down, you're gonna have to reel it faster than those fish want, so you're gonna be missing some bites. But the six cent stroker crawl is another great bait to have on the back of a buzz bait trailer if you don't make baits yourself. But when I'm making those berry bugs, I like to put it on there and I use these mostly as a jig trailer or on the back of a wobblehead jig. But when I run out of those berry bugs, I am not afraid to put that bait on the back of a buzz bait either. And guys, make sure to check the description because I'm gonna leave a link and a discount code to the six cent stroker cross down in the description of today's video. And if you guys wanna see me catch a bunch of buzz bait fish out on the water, make sure to click on the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video.